Hello everybody. Hello. It's nice to meet you today. I'm going to show you how the metal embossing works. This is a technique for using metal. At, at this time I'm using aluminum. But this technique you can work with a pewter. This is similar to the aluminum. But uh, this material has a little lead. It's necessary to use with gloves. Mm. So for this reason, when I work with students, I prefer to work with aluminum. The principal things with this is I make my design. Mm -hmm. I have the aluminum here. And I'm going to show you <coughs> This area marked with the green, that's me. This is going to be my final design. So if I want something go up, that's me. I'm going to use something soft in order to push down and the design is going up. Mm -hmm. So the first, when we work with this technique, we use a soft surface and a hard surface. Mm -hmm. It can be a table, or it can be a glass. And uh, when I try to make the design down, or that's mean in three dimension, I use that one. And it is hard surface. I try to keep a design plain mm -hmm. in order to glue it later on a piece of wood or hard surface. The other material I use, there are a lot of materials I can use it, but I'm going to show today only with two materials. This is a pencil and a stamp. Hmm. So with these two, these tools, you don't need more. But this technique, you can find a lot of tools but it doesn't mean if you can do anything if you don't have it. Uh, I use a spatula because I'm going to use seam, this material here on back of the design so I protect when the people push the design it doesn't broke. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I use some patinas to in order to bring color and sometimes I use acrylics, I use patinas, uh, ink, uh, alcohol inks, uh, that, this technique is amazing. It's, you can make whatever you want. You can decorate uh, boxes, uh, you can make frames, you can, whatever you have in your mind. Okay, the first step. This is going to be my front. I put my design on top and then with the pencil very soft I start to draw the design on my aluminum piece of a uh, aluminum. So very fast I'm going to mix giving the idea how it's going to be the design. I make something very easy to do so so this is the first step and when you do that the design is here now I need because this is going to be the front you are going to see the design here in 3d three-dimensional so I put that on the soft surface and I can remove this because I finish here. I don't need. So uh, I can start to with my stuff. I'm going to make the center. I'm going to make the center. Okay? With the pencil. I'm going to make some dots. Some dots. This is the back of the, the aluminum. Yes, this is a stamp paper. 
If I want, I can use these balls, but I don't want to. I want to show you I can make something. Two tools. Exactly. I make the dots there. So I need to make those dots better in better shape. So I make the delineation of the each dot. Mm -hmm. I go around of each dot. But I always have to use the stump. I push down the, the aluminum on the hard surface and always I have to uh, maintain the plane. This material all time plane only go up the design I want it. And again. I can make a lot of texture around. I can punch down in front or back. It depends what I want to. Look at this. In this moment, it's plain. But I started to make a little dots. Now I'm going to make a little details in every leaf or petal of the flower. So I paint a little bit the flowers. And now I'm going to bring every petal up. This is the front. So I have to work back. And I start with that one to make a petal down. Pushing the aluminum so, do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. This one is oh, going sure. to be up. Uh -huh. And now, so I can, I have to be on, yeah. in front. Yeah. I have to be in front again, and this technique uses a lot of pencils. Mm -hmm. Because they break. Broke, yes, every time. So, for the reason I have a lot and I have a chair. chair. So, so yeah. we'll get some on the table there if you need one. So, this is the way, and I just have to make every kernel in the same way. Go back and push again. This is one by one. You need to be very careful. One by one. And again, I do that. So after I make that one, I make the other one. Um, with the stamp in the soft surface. Remove. And then the make a definition of every mm -hmm. every part. So the definition is go here and with the pencil again I can okay. So I just have to make one by one. Now I'm going to make a center in order to you see something I push down again with this. Did you ever push through that piece of... Yes, it's necessary to use something soft in order to the design yeah. go down. Does the pencil ever punch it? Yes, yes, I can punch it. It does? Yes, I can paint, I can... Yeah? Huh. What do you do if you do make a hole in it? What if I... What, what do you do if you make a hole? Oh, okay. If I make a hole, I have to, at the end, try to, to use something the same color. And when I use this material on back, I try to paint it on top. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can fix it. Sometimes you, you, can, you, know, you don't have the opportunity to fix it. Where, where can you just get this material? You can get this material in a... Uh, Armored, uh, deplete, uh, maybe supplies, art supplies in general. Michael, Michael, Michael and Shiproni, yes. Hobby Lobby. No, I don't know. Hobby Lobby, Tommy. 
never find there with the pineapples in our heart. They send this. Just to keep it together. Twelve by three feet. Thirty-six down. This is no. This is a special aluminum. It's not the kitchen aluminum. It's special. So. You can get copper too. Yes, I can work with copper. Sometimes I make combination. Uh, copper, you can work with silver, uh, real, uh, but uh, this material works very nice. Um, after, so just have to see the design is going up. And every, I continue making the same, in the same way, every pedal. Every pedal, then go hard surface, and then it's here. And all time is doing the same, back and forth, all time. I need to go back and forth, mm. all time. So after I make a whole design, mm -hmm. something like that, mm -hmm. I can add some finish and some texture yeah. ah. at the end. Mm -hmm. And how you can make some texture? You can grab a maker, like a punching, a, like a, uh, I have here different textures. Uh, this is, this one is uh, like a making in this way. Huh. Circle, 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 circle. Huh. Wow. Uh, sometimes you can use, uh, I have sometimes I use uh, some surface, I have wow. those, mm -hmm. and you can work with those. Mm -hmm. um, let me see what I'm going to do. This is another way. Exactly, you can make a lot of different ways. You can punch with the pencil. There are a lot of uh, this material here that you can scratch the design. Um, imagination. You can add many, many textures here. If you later see it, you can find different textures. Yes. Mm. You do the frame too? Yeah, everything is made mm. in different ways. Show the camera here. Different, <laughs> in different there you way. Go. And the frame too. you see different texture. You do the frame down the middle? Yeah. Uh, no, this is this is frame up. This. Oh, you bought that. I thought yes, you made I that and wrapped it. it. Yes. Okay. Uh, after I finish the design, after I finish the design, I have to uh, use the uh, because if I don't use a filler, the design is destroyed, and I'm going to show you how I use it. I use that, and it's good. It's a filler, good filler. Good filler. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can add a little bit. There are other materials. Wood filler. Oh, wood filler. Good filler, yes. Um, there are a lot of materials you can use, similar to that one. Uh, with the spatula, I start to put inside. So I have to let dry. Normally, when I work in, in the workshops with the people, I can't wait until this is dry. Mm -hmm. So I use a wax with a big wax with a uh, what is the other name? It's the two materials I use it. Um, melt. Candle? Yes, it's something like a candle. Paraffin yeah, and perfect. big wax. And then I melt and with a spoon. I have that one. <laughs> this is very dark. Oh, yes. hard. <laughs> and you start to feel oh. the design and immediately dry. So the people immediately can glue it to the surface they want it. Mm -hmm. So this is the way I use this and then fill everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Later when the design is dry, 
Now, why are you using that wood filler? I love it. You know what? Because if I don't use, if I don't use this, uh, all my design that is up, if I push, it's broken. I see. So it keeps tools behind it. Exactly. Keep my design is that safe. Reinforcement? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Because this is very soft material. Yeah. So it, it's necessary to use something to put them back to protect the design. Mm -hmm. After the design is ready, the back is dry, I glue it to a surface, hard surface, board. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. If you have boxes, uh, you can add two boxes to the frames, whatever you want, and then glue it. And you start to use the patina. So this design, uh, I was this design no have patina yet. So, I'm going to add patina. Uh, I use this material, it's excellent. There are a lot of patinas in the patisses world. Well, so, this is going to go inside the design and reals. As uh, you can see, this is another, but this is, you see the black mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. there? So, everything is. This is more brighter. Uh, uh, is that an paper, right? Yes, it makes the paint. Okay. Why not paint? This is acrylic. Acrylic? Okay. Acrylic. Hmm. Normally I use a uh, rose. dye at first. And you put it on there and then you rub it off and exactly. it goes into the creases. Exactly. I'm going okay. to show you how to do. I'm going to play with this lid. Put any ink on there? So I only put a brush. I do that. And then after I do that, I let dry a little bit. I'm going to. I let dry a little bit. What is the name for that? There's a name for what you're doing. Uh, what is the name of this technique? Yeah, the technique. Is a metal embossing. What mm. is it? Metal embossing. Yes. Which raises the surface. I know what yes. there's another. In oh, art, another there's another name for yes. it. This is very antique Pretty technique. Easy, good name for it. This technique is come from, it came from 12th century. Mm. Yeah. 12th century. And then, especially in Europe, they protect, they decide one day to protect the religious art. And uh, they started to cover with pewter, with uh, silver, gold, just mm. uh, uh, stones. And uh, later, uh, by the war, war War Two, mm -hmm. World War Two, and One and Two, they forget, and then again it started at 60s. In the 60s, oh, wow. hmm. my mother learned uh, at the school from nuns, and then she, uh, I learned from my mom. Good yes. Um, This technique is very known probably in Spain and Mexico. And in Greece, they have, they made a beautiful icons. Mm -hmm. In Athens, you find a beautiful place with real gold, real silver, wow. so beautiful. So now I clean. And I uh, uh, decide how much black I want in the design. It's better to let dry a little bit more, but I want to show you how does it work. Mm -hmm. How this change, how the design change. Let me show you. Okay. So here you can see. Here you can see the area without patina mm -hmm. and the area with patina. And when it, this is very dry, I have to, I use that one. 
in order to uh -huh. take a bright uh, clean and rescue the colors, <coughs> the very silver. So it's not very dry, so I can see because I need to this keep the, the lines, the black, the dark black lines. And this technique you can you can paint, you can use different it needs more shiny. <laughs> it takes time to do that. So and then you can add uh, make a metal embossing and use colors like this. You can high ink. The splash, you put that on the Yes, I put it and uh, paint it, make the same, make a design to go up a design, like a 3D. Uh, can I back up? Why did you use the Brasso in case you did something you didn't want and you took it off? Uh, yes, I, it, it can happen. In, it's a way to erase what you don't want on there? No, it is to make it bright. To make it shiny, shiny, okay. shiny clean, like a look, like a silver, so like a, a group, uh, like a real silver polish. Yeah. Polish, yes. So it changes a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. In this moment, I can see the the effect of the lines because I have to let dry a little bit more <laughs> in order to use that one. But I, I want to you see how are the steps. What are the steps to do this? So, in general, this is in general the technique how it works. Of course, I have to clean this one. <laughs> yes. Um, somebody have a question? Uh, does that material come in different gauges? A thickness and thickness? And yes, there are many materials about it, but I recommend the 36 gauge. Uh, there are uh, color, made of colors. I did uh, something in copper a long time ago. Oh yeah. And it seemed, uh, it seemed like it was, uh, my wife has it somewhere. Oh yes. <laughs> yes, yes. It seems like it was thicker material. Oh yes, there are a lot of pushed out harder than you are. Exactly. There are another one, a, a aluminum, very thick. So you can use different tools and like a hammer mm -hmm. oh, and then well. you start to push down because this is soft you know yeah yeah and <laughs> this is this is soft enough to work with the pencil um there are another aluminum that you can find with colors but Mm, I don't like really. Okay, you can do something with them, but I prefer to the add my own colors. Yes. So you, you yes. Move, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Besides that, a little bit oxidizes real quick. Oh. And you get a dull finish. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a little bit of So, uh, if you use pewter, you, you can find different oh, right? patinas. Every couple of days. <laughs> no, but a little bit, okay. If you use silver, the silver you have to clean many times. Oh, okay. Aluminum, no. Those, huh? not clean. No, no, I never clean it. I if clean the use, first time. If you use what, it, it goes... Silver, you would have silver. to use Yes, yes. But aluminum is very nice because you don't need to... No have trouble there. It's going to change or turn dark. Yeah. So it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Acrylics, you said. What? Acrylics. acrylics. You can use acrylics. 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 Yeah. acrylics inks. Alcohol inks. Mm -hmm. uh, can I ask you how much you, how much you charge for one that size? Um, a special price, fifteen dollars. How much? Fifteen. Fifteen. Wow. Fifteen. Wow. 15. <laughs> no, that one. That one. That, those little pieces. Yeah. But those are. 
different expensive is a lot of work. The more not, the more ornate they are, the more expensive. It's a lot of time, take a lot of time. What you see is the one in back now looks like a different gold than this one does. Those are different versions. <coughs> Do you want to go? No, I just wonder that gold does not color. Oh quite yes, like this is patinas. Gold. It's patinas. Patinas. Uh huh. The patino on that is a little exactly. bit different. I cannot. Oh, yes, yes. Always is different. What, what did you use to make that uh, gold looking color? I use, I use a patina. 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 It's a different color, like, like that one is one color and that one. Oh, well, a different color. Gold right. patina. Right. You can find something similar right. to that one, but gold. Uh, the people can use sharpie, sharp, uh, sharpie markers. Sharp, yeah, sharp, yeah. Yes, wow. you can uh, try something with that. It looks amazing too. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's very nice. Yes, this is. You can make a lot of stuff with this. I can see you do regular painting as well. Do you do that acrylics as well, or you do? I painting? use acrylics. I make acrylics, uh, oil painting, pastels. Uh, mixed media, mm. uh, cool wax, a lot of techniques. And go to plain air painting. And do you prefer I to do it. this method versus painting? No, I love both everything. Uh, sometimes I decide to go. What did you do to get this to come yeah. out? You say you use a different um, metal sheet for the uh, for the brass or gold looking, but how do you get that on top of your? No, it's not a different sheet. Huh? It's just a color. It's only the color. I use it. Yeah, she puts the color on the piece. Oh, you like you, a paint? You put paint a color on there. That's the patina the she's talking about. Yeah. She oh, well, what about the background of that uh, religious one back there? Is that this is patina? This is called patina. And it's just the color. Yes. And sometimes I use leaf, gold, leaf. No, pretty. Different. Are your daisies? What well, she said she used? Patina. And she rubs it on as different depths. Uh, those so are actually. Uh, is it just. Oil okay. painting okay. would be just a this different color. This is oil painting. Right. Both are right. really. But okay. it's a big format. The, the those are prints. Prints. Wow. Those are prints on camera. Uh, how do you is how <laughs> did you paint the faces? I paint the faces. Wow. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. 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 We thought who was we talking about? Like, was it you, Don? We were talking about the faces. Yeah. In the night nice You paint your faces in oil or for acrylic? In oil, in acrylic. Um, you ever use alcohol for faces? No, alcohol. Yeah, I use alcohol for abstract. For what? Abstract. Yeah. Yeah. So we can look at it. You ever use a rubbing glove? Alcohol. Look at that. No, no. Something. Yeah. I mean, you're right, it looks like a number zero, zero, zero brush. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> Where do you usually show it off? Uh, in many galleries, sometimes galleries. Are you in a gallery? Yes. Um, galleries, workshops. Yeah, in general. Yeah. Particular parties. Or I make a party at home and in the house sometimes acrylic, sometimes the people say that in general acrylic, a mixed media, abstract, a metal embossing. Is this the one you're working on? Yes. So are those prints? Prints. Prints on canvas. From the original. So you can do it. And the paint doesn't run. That's nice. That's really nice. The color doesn't run. So it's expensive. And of course, it's the backhand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that would be right. Yeah, that would be right. Yeah, that would be right.
Did you metal emboss these frames? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I got it. I okay. The other side. No, I noticed on this one back here, this one has beads in it. It is half what? Has like beading in it? Oh yes, I use that. Has the people it, can use. Did you show them how you did that too? This is totally right here. Right? And I also it's called it's beautiful. Oh, you got it? I love it. 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 I love I print in the size I needed because I get this in different sizes. Oh, you printed yes. smaller! Yes. Yeah, but originally it's art. Oh, okay. 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 I, I could not. I have jeweler's glasses and I still can't paint that small. Next time, print. Because sometimes I make this very big, very big. Uh, the original is very big and then she prints. Well, that's true. Focused in North St. Louis County, Northside Art Association is a nonprofit 501c3 arts organization that serves local artists through community exposure, networking, education, and peer interaction. Learn more about Northside Art Association at www.northsideartassociation.org.